Hi traders, in today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step guide and tutorial for my trading view settings, the lines, the boxes, how do you draw fair value gaps, how do you draw Fibonacci and all the tools that I use for my trading. Make sure you watch the video until the very end because I'm going to show you how to transform this kind of chart into this kind of chart without even paying for TradingView. Let's get started. First of all, you go to tradingview.com to open an account. If you don't have one, you can click on a link description to check them out. It's completely free or you can download their platform on your desktop or on your mobile app. On the desktop, you can download for Windows or for Mac OS or even other operating system. So let me quickly explain their pay features or extra features. So right now I'm currently using the pro version. It's not really necessary to upgrade. You can use it for free, completely free. But for me personally, I'm using the pro version because I use it for back testing. I feel it's more convenient and you have more access to a little bit more features. So after you open an account, and when you come to the chart, it will look something like this or something similar to this. So I'll be showing you my trading view settings and how do I set up some of the tools. First of all, you want to change the time zone. Right over here, you can click onto here. Doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter where you are. Make sure you change it to New York time zone because um, the algorithm run on the New York time zone. Okay, that's the first step. After that, you want to change the color of your candles. If you like the default settings, you can just stick with it. But for me, it's a bit too bright. The color of the candles doesn't really matter, you know, as long as you choose the one that you prefer. So I'll be going through my settings so you can pause the video, you can save the settings and you can change it to your likings as well. After changing the time zone, I will change the theme of the trading view. It's a little bit too white for my liking. So I'll right click right here, color theme. I will change it to dark. Uh, I still want to keep the white background, so I will change it to white background again. Just solid. And I don't really like to keep my vertical grids or line, so I'll just turn it off. For the text, I'll just change it to black. And I'll just click OK. At the same time, I don't really like the color of my candles. So I will just change it to green and black, just like ICT. Go to symbol. I'll change my candle body to green and my bearish candle to black. For the rest of the setting, I just change it to all black. Then I'll click OK. So this is the basic setting that we have. I'm going to switch over to my personal candles and I'll show you all my settings. So you can pause the video and save all the numbers right over here. And you can just copy paste through your setting. For the down candles, it's just all black. For the background, I just use solid. And this is my color code. You can just copy paste to your own liking as well. So on your left, you can see all the tools that we have. And this is my favorite toolbox. In order to for this to appear, you can just right click on the stars right over here and they will start popping out. So for any tools that you find very helpful to your trading, you can just save them and give them favorite. So they will just pop up in your favorite tools. So usually when I see my chart, let's see trend lines, I mainly use it for to highlight the liquidity pool. I can just, you know, draw a line or if I want to, uh, let's say liquidity run, I can just put an X. This is for my liquidity run just to give myself a note that, you know, the liquidity has been taken out. Another similar to trend line is the arrowhead. The default setting will be drawing an arrow, but I changed the setting to my liking. I use it for my to identify sell side liquidity or buy side liquidity to showcase relatively equal lows or relatively equal highs for buy side liquidity. So trend line and arrowheads are very similar. So I just save the templates. These are some of the templates that I have. I have buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity. For liquidity that is still open, I use this arrowhead just to draw the line. And I'll just right click template and this is our sell side liquidity. The reason I put relatively equal lows because sometimes we might have uh, relatively equal lows right here. 
so I just say save the template you can write any text that you want or you know you can just write sell side liquidity and you can save it as template so that you don't really have to type it out every time you need it another favorite tool that I use is the boxes the boxes I use them to highlight my fair value gaps I used to highlight some of the zones some of the areas of note or areas of interest so you can write down some of the words just to remind yourself maybe this is a one hour fair value gap you can just write it down as one hour fair value gap even if you go down to the lower time frame you still can see that this is your one hour fair value gap you can just play around with the setting to change it to your own liking to your own colors that you like so i have bearish order block i have uh, bullish order block i also use the horizontal ray to highlight my previous daily high or previous daily low so i have some of these templates that i save it i have previous daily low just to remind myself you know this is a very likely liquidity run that the price might move to for fibonacci you can just press the shortcut key option f so i use the fibonacci tool just to highlight the the range of the price so we have our low here and our high here and this is our equilibrium this is our midpoint of the range if you want to use ote optimal trade entry you can just uh this is my setting for optimal trade entry so this is the setting you can pause the video and save it to your chart i mainly just use the simplify version of the the range so i can just identify my premium and discount I also use vertical line to identify my midnight open. Later in this video, I'll be showing you some of the tools that we can use to identify the sessions, the midnight open, without even us drawing the vertical line. So you can just identify the midnight open using the vertical lines. You can even write down uh, the text. Let's say this is Monday. And you can just Monday, Tuesday, and you can just draw your midnight open for every trading days you can also utilize the long position 2 or short position 2 just to you know highlights your your entry your stop loss and your take profit this is for going long and this is for going short and the text tool is very simple you can just write any text that you like and you can just move it around another tool that i use is to price note so i can just i can just note down any price point that i want the price just to remind myself the critical price of interest so I can just move it around the price will just change according to my movement let's say my uh, previous daily low is right over here so my price target will be 342 so I'll be foreseeing price to trade below that previous day low. So this is a very, very useful tool to highlight the price. Next, I'll be showing you uh, how to draw the premium and discount. Normally, I see people drawing their premium and discount by using the FIB. It's nothing wrong with it. They draw their FIB and they draw their boxes just like these. And they duplicate the box into these. It's nothing really wrong with drawing it this way but it's a little bit long-winded you need to change the color to premium and discount so it's a bit long-winded but i'll show you an easy and quick way to draw the boxes immediately without using the fib and this is a very useful hack so right over here you can go to gam box by default this is not how it looks like so by default it looks like something like this it's very messy and you know it's very complicated i don't even understand you know the purpose of it but after we tweak some settings we can make sure it looks like our you can make it looks like our fair value gap or our premium and discount so i will show you the setting so this is the easiest way to draw our premium and discount so as you can see we came down for our premium price range into our discount level after the price has moved up here to here to this range price has reached our premium level and price has dropped into our discount level again so that maybe the small money can accumulate more long positions before moving even higher so this is my setting for our zero you can just put it on uh, red color or any color that you like this is for our premium this is for a discount make sure you you know reduce the background because it is very strong make sure you uh, turn on the backgrounds and you can turn on and off uh, you must turn on a midpoint so that you know we have a uh, two different section of our premium and discount make sure you turn all these off you know we don't really need these levels time levels all the labels we don't need that we just need to turn on these settings and we can have our premium and discount level draw out very nicely apart from using this tool for your premium and discount you can use also use it for your fair value gap 
right over here. So let's say this is our bearish fair value gap or let's say this is our bullish fair value gap. We can just draw it out. This tool is very handy. You can use it for your premium discount or you can use it for your fair value gap, bearish fair value gap or bullish fair value gap. You can just save the settings. Once you change the setting, you can just save it as a template and you can use it whenever you need it to. I'll show you another way of drawing fair value gap which is using this two parallel channel so what you're gonna do is like you draw a line by holding on shift so you get a straight line and you can just pull it down and there you have it you have a bearish fair value gap make sure you press on shift because you know it's if you want a straight line make sure you press on the shift and if not it's gonna be look like these so to draw the perfect fair value gap hold on to shift and draw a straight line and pull it down so let me show you one more time select the two hold on to shift and pull it down and this is our bullish fair value gap so there you have it so the setting is you can just change any setting to your liking i have the blue as my lines and the middle and the background you can turn it on and off moving on we have this path so i like to use this just to highlight some of the structure the market structure it's pretty much very self-explanatory you can just draw this to highlight some of the market structure so usually i just use it to have some uh, plan or some price prediction so i want to see the price go down and trade up and trade back up into this fair value gap and have a displacement and we can look for our sell entry before moving even lower so it's very self-explanatory how to use the path so i just use it to identify some of the market structure or even predict some of the future price movement that i wanted to move to or even to lay out my trading plan by using the paths another one is info line info line is pretty much similar to uh, our trend line i just have it as an extra backup but i don't really use them that much it's, it's just a similar function as the uh, trend line but the only difference is that you can um, turn on some of the settings to show price range to show the bars the time and distance i just turn it off you know you don't really need them so after having all the setting setups you can say make sure you set it to your settings so that whenever you want to use it again or whenever you want to try out some setting you can always change it back to your own default settings so for me i just save it as my default settings as dark knight so right now i'll be going through some of the tools that i use for highlighting some of the uh, midnight session some of the price open trading session london kill zone new york kill zone i'll be showing you all the tools that i use so first of all i use jwt sessions and as i mentioned in my previous video you can check it out in one of his video he he talked about the indicator that he created credit to this creator make sure you check out his channel to download the indicator if not you can check out the link in description i'll linking all the indicators or tools that i use in this video so this is a very powerful tool that you can use because you can uh show kill zone you know you can show london kill zone new york kill zone london, london close and what i really like about this indicator is to show the, the daily dividers which is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you know and just to show me uh days of the week so another really useful tool about um this indi this indicator is to use the midnight open horizontal line this shows you know this is the price open for wednesday you can also use it for the afternoon session this is for morning session you can use it for more afternoon session morning session and you can also turn on a vertical line for the midnight open as well so this is a really handy tool that you can use it for your trading so you can change around you know you can play around with the settings for your london kill zone new york kill zone london close or even asian session and you can change the visibility in different uh, time frame you know daily time frame weekly time frame the second one that i use is by uh, ict sessions by docker fused so uh, i mainly use it to draw out the vertical lines you know for all the daily divider if you go to the lower time frame you can see that you know it's very clear our midnight open we have our midnight open line over right over here and this is our 8 30 open for our new york kill zone i turn off my kill zone because it's a little bit messy so i can just use my own eyes just to gauge you know when is the kill zone but if you need some sort of guidelines you can just turn on the kill zone 
because it just looked really messy in my chart so i just turn it off but if you like you know this kind of settings you can just turn it on you can just turn off london close if you are if that is not part of your trading plan and yeah that's pretty much it i mean you can do a lot of things with the indicator you know i just make sure that they are very minimalistic and you know not to clutter my charts that much you can also you know play around because this indicator and the previous one is very similar you know you can just use one or the one or the other it's more than enough but i just like you know having the daily divider provided by this indicator that's why i just kept it and the rest is pretty much similar to the previous indicator you can just turn this on so you can have our you can have your 830 open another indicator that i use is uh watermark this is just to um remind myself my trading plan just to give myself you know to make sure that i follow my trading plan make sure that i follow my daily bias and look for liquidity run and trade during new york kill zone and wait for my market structure shift and identify my fair value gap that form after the market structure shift and look for premium and discount and always at least target one is to two risk to reward ratio so yeah that's pretty much it so this is my some of the indicator list i don't use all of them so the one that i use will be jwt sessions ict session by docker fuse watermark and i'll be sh i'll be linking them in the descriptions you know uh, where to find them how to you how do you so once you come into this uh link make sure you save it to your favorite indicator because sometimes when you look into the indicator list you will never find them so make sure you come to the link i'll provide them in the description come into this link add it to your favorite indicator so you can look for them in your indicator list because sometimes when you look for it here they will never show up i don't know the reason why you know so sometimes it doesn't it doesn't really show up in here so you have to go to the link and save it to your favorite indicator so they will appear here and you can start using them right away the ruler tool you can you can access it by holding shift you know you can just measure the range the price changes you know how many bars what's the time that it takes to reach to that level and the number of ticks that moved another useful tool that you can use is to hold down control or command and whenever you draw let's say you want to draw to the high of this bar you know it's very hard to gauge with your eyes so you can just hold down the command or control button and just draw the line so it's you know it snapped right into the high of this candle that's pretty much it so if you have any question leave them in a the comment section below and i will try to answer them as many as i can first you have to download this browser and it's completely free after you install this browser and you can log into your trading view once you log into the trading view and set up all your settings now you can open three tabs of trading views just like these once you open all the three tabs and press shift select all the three tabs once you select them right click make sure you choose tiles three tabs make sure you make sure you choose this option click onto it and you have these settings after that you have these settings after that you can click onto this setting this right over here and change it to grid there you have it and you have this because in trading views you have to pay for this feature but here you can just use the same features without even paying so here you can set it to daily time frame one hour over here and the lower time frame 15 minutes or five minutes or even one minute for your entry so anything that you draw here it will appear on the other charts as well so which is very nice so there you have it hopefully you can learn something from this video and i will see you in the next one